Well, good morning and welcome back to the channel. Uh, this morning you find me down on the southeast coast of the UK, down in Deal. It's probably a 20 minute drive from, from where I live, 25 minutes, something like that. Um, sunrise officially is at eight o'clock this morning. I got here at probably uh, just after seven and there looked like some lovely pink and blue hues on the horizon. By the time I'd actually made it down to the uh, pier here at Deal, um, those colours unfortunately had gone and uh, it looks like we've seen probably the best of the colour this morning already. But there you go. A uh, lesson learned for next time is just to, to get here early. I thought I'd got here early enough, but clearly not. Um, so yeah, we're down on the seafront here. We're just going to try and capture some images of the pier and uh, we'll have a look, see what we can find. Well, it's a bit fresh out here this morning. It's probably about about one degree, something like that. But with the wind chill, it feels a damn sight colder. Well, for this image, um, I'm using the 24 to 105, um, and I'm probably about, uh, what am I, 35, 40 millimeter. I'm at F8, ISO 100, and at 0 0.6 seconds. That's with a circular polarizer and a three-stop soft grad, just to try and control the sky, because as you can see, the, uh, the sky here is really quiet a lot brighter than the foreground. Um, shows up even worse on this vlogging camera. Um, but yeah, it looks like there's not gonna be a huge amount of color this morning. There's not a, not a huge amount of cloud up there other than right on the horizon. But uh, you know, all you can do is make the best of, of what you've got. Now for this next shot, what I'm doing is I've got the tripod um, as quite low to the ground, uh, about as low as I can get. I've got the circular polarizer on still and a three-stop soft grad trying to control the sky and I'm getting some of the waves in the foreground here. Um, I'm at ISO 50, F11 and it's giving me a shutter speed of about anywhere between a second and a second and a half. I've been taking loads of images just as the wave comes in on a two-second timer so as it goes back out again like this one coming in now, as it goes back out again you're hoping to get some of that um, lines being dragged back out again with the, with the foam of the sea. Now the sun is actually rising now uh, in the background there. Um, we are now starting to get a little bit of light, so we've got one or two images um, on the back of the camera look quite nice. Well, that has been absolutely manic down here this morning at Deal. Um, obviously, sunrises just happen so quick, and once the start, sun starts to rise, you really don't get long uh, to take your images. So, I've done very little B roll this morning, very little pieces to camera, um, but I think I've got a few images that I'm quite happy with, um, especially the ones that I was down uh, right on the shoreline there. Uh, I got the camera as low as I could. 
Um, so you were capturing the waves on the way in um, and as they were receding back out again. So I'm hoping that, yeah, one or two of them might be okay. I think what I'll do is because um, there really hasn't been much video and much of a vlog, what I'll do is I'll probably pick um, the best image and then maybe we'll, uh, we'll work on it on the computer at home and I'll just run you through how I process the image. But uh, yeah, it's been quite nice this morning, quite nice to get out for the first time this year. A little bit out of practice with the vlogging and like I say, it was quite a rush this morning. There were several other photographers down here. I don't know whether there was a, a photography club meet or something like that, but there just seemed to be a, quite a large number of photographers down here this morning. And uh, it wasn't a bad sunrise in the end. Not a lot of cloud in the sky, so uh, we didn't really get a lot of colour. Um, there was nothing for the, uh, the, the sun to catch on. But uh, yeah, one or two images come out quite well. I'm going to head down to um, the pier itself um, here. And there's a classic shot that you get under the pier looking straight along. So I think I'll have a go at that while I'm here, be rude not to. Well, what I've done this time is actually swapped out the um, ten stop, uh, sorry, six stop filter for the ten stop. Um, so this one I've got um, a circular polarizer, the Lee big stop at a ten stop, and a three stop soft grad. Give me an exposure time at ISO 100. Um, I went for f8 to give me that 30 second um, exposure time, and on the back of the camera, yeah, it looks quite nice. I'm sure. Looking at it, it's probably going to be turned into a, a mono image, but you never know till you go back home again. Um, it's about nine o'clock in the morning now, and as you can tell, the light is starting to get quite harsh, so I don't think there's many more images to be had this morning. Uh, apologies for the, the poor vlog. Hopefully one or two of the images have, have made up for the, the lack of video and the lack of B-roll, etc. Um, I think we will head back home now and maybe get one or two of the images um, up on the computer and see if we can process it and I'll run you through how I processed that image but uh, I'll meet you back at home. Hello and uh, welcome back to um, the computer. Um, yeah, it was a nice morning this morning. Very fresh, very cold out there. Um, and really struggled with um, the lack of time that you have really um, doing sunrises or even sunsets. Uh, it's quite, quite a fast event really. And you don't really get time to uh, do a lot of B-roll pieces to camera and things like that. And I, really struggled this morning so I thought this would be the best way of doing it um, we're going to pick an image and uh, I'm just going to give you a brief kind of rundown on, on what I did to process the image um, I come away with half a dozen images uh, and I'll show you um, one of the images that I think we're going to pick um, we're actually going to pick this image here um, if I can find it yes this image here I quite liked this image uh, it was just the way that um, the Sun was catching the um, the sea here uh, the movement in the water uh, this I think is the PSD image that I've got there um, you'll see on the actual raw file um, this nasty kind of blob um, I didn't notice at the time but yeah I must have had some sea spray come up and hit the front of the filter and I really should have paid more attention but I didn't didn't spot it so we've got a nasty blob 
and the nasty one there to deal with um, in Photoshop. Uh, but I'll just show you on here what I actually did to this image. Um, just some real basic editing in Lightroom. Uh, I obviously cropped the image um, to a 16 by 9. Uh, I've decided to leave this little rock in. Uh, this little bank of rocks was actually on the lower third and uh, the horizon uh, falls nicely on the upper third with the intersection at the towards the end of, of, of the pier there. Uh, so I thought that, that crop worked quite well. Um, coming down I chose um, the profile uh, to be Adobe Landscape. It actually saturates some of the, the blues and greens uh, a little bit more in the image and I just found that that worked better than the, the, the Adobe Color Profile for this particular image. Um, I altered the white balance. I think I took a point um, on here somewhere on a, on a on a wave to give me the custom white point setting. Um, I lowered the highlights more or less to the end, uh, raised the shadows quite a bit, and then I set a white point and a black point um, on this tone panel here. If you hold the Alt key down when you select the white point slider, uh, as you slide it, you can see it selects your white point and the same with the black, you can just determine how much black you want in the image to set your black point. Um, I didn't actually add any additional contrast at that point, setting your white point and your black point. Kind of adjust the contrast anyway. Uh, and that was basically all I did other than uh, some hue saturation and luminance adjustments. Uh, just playing around with the, the colors in the uh, sunset, uh, sunrise here, the, the yellows, oranges and reds. I, um, if you lower the luminance it kind of makes them stand out a little bit more and with the saturation I raised the saturation of, of the yellows um, to plus 20 and the oranges and reds uh, just three or four um, to raise them up uh, that was all I did in Lightroom. I then took the image over into Photoshop. Uh, there wasn't a huge amount of work that I'd done in Photoshop, just a little bit. Um, this was how it was brought in from Lightroom here. And the, the first thing I did was used um, Topaz Sharpen uh, to sharpen the image. Uh, and then I applied a filter, uh, um, a mask to that adjustment layer. And as you can see, the black hides any sharpening, the white reveals it. So the little white marks um, here that you see is, um, just here is, is, is this rock, this white point here is this little bank uh, of rocks here. I sharpened those. I didn't want any sharpening um, to be going on in, in the sea or the sky. So this strip of white here is just the strip of the pier that I've got um, being sharpened. Uh, other than that, uh, let me just try and turn this off here. Uh, yeah, that was the sharpening. I then wanted to address this couple of blobs here. So to do that, I created a merged layer and then um, I made a couple of selections, uh, um, one each of these water droplets here. And once the selection had been made, I did a hue saturation um, luminance adjustment uh, and selected the yellow um, color channel and desaturated the yellow out of it and as you can see this takes this and this blob out of it I think it was actually getting a um, reflection from the sun so by taking the yellow out it just gives you this nasty blob to deal with then so that was easier to deal with with the spot healing brush um, which kind of 
blends that in a lot nicer uh, it might stand out to you a little bit because obviously you can see where they were originally but with fresh eyes if you hadn't looked at that image from the beginning you wouldn't even know they were there uh, and that was pretty much all I did to the image other than um, a 50% grey layer for some dodging and burning um, just to, to highlight um, this kind of area and uh, a, a custom vignette if you like around the edge just to draw the eye into the middle um, to stop your eye wandering out of frame and that was the resulting image uh, from that um, raw file so if I show you where we started from this is how the image was brought in um, to Photoshop and then after we've worked on it that was the resulting image um, yeah so that was probably one of my favorite images of the morning um, I hope that you liked one or two of the other images um, this is the first time really that I've had a go at uh, showing you any of my um, processing it's taken me a little while to set up the computer at home um, to enable me to do that uh, with, the, with the camera and, and the light set up to, to try and make it work so it's not very slick and professional at the moment but uh, hopefully I'll in, uh, improve on it and uh, make things a little bit more professional so to speak um, but I just thought that would give you a, a very basic insight into how I go about processing some of my images not very much processing on that one at all um, but I hope you enjoyed the video as this is the first video of the new year I'd just like to take the opportunity and wish you all a very happy new year um, if you did like the video please give it a thumbs up uh, leave a comment uh, if you're not already subscribed consider subscribing and uh, I'll see you on the next one cheers then take care